Here's the tale of the tape for the semifinals of the Back to Warcraft Weekly number 30. We do have the matchup you've all been waiting for. It is Grubby versus Happy. Of course, Happy, though, playing random, as he always does, at least for 10 weeks, in the Back to Warcraft Weekly. Map 1 in this best of 3 is going to be Northern Isles. We'll see what Happy randoms as we jump into game number 1. And... uh I do also have Neo by my side. Neo, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. With this game to our hands, the first time in two years, how could I not be hyped about this? Grubby vs. Happy, it's the best player in the entire world for the past couple of years against the biggest streamer in the Western world. Still quite, uh, quite skilled, so let's see how this goes. I think, um, who has the favorite, actually, with Happy being on random here? I, don't, I guess it really does depend if Happy has the luck that he's had recently with random, because he tends to, at least in grand finals, maybe not in semifinals, always get undead. I think the last five of six grand final games, Happy's random and undead. Of course, he's getting human, which arguably is his worst off race. I think that's that's been kind of determined now. Maybe it's just the worst race, but I think it is his, his worst off race. I think so too, uh, but he plays a very solid rifle push, mm -hmm. and I don't know, man, you're the expert in these matchups. Rifle push, pretty valid against Orc, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think it's great recently. Um, it was, for a while, people playing 2 Sanctum, people playing stuff like Panda second, Beastmaster second, but nowadays I think just Mountain King, Rifleman, especially on a map like Northern Isles, where you can really contest the middle camps, the shop, and the marketplace early at Tier 2 with the Stormbolt and Militia. Um, it can be very, very strong for rifles. For Grubby, luckily he is going to be playing the Farseer Fast Tech, which is actually not a bad build. Against Undead, this is good. Against uh, Human, of course, this is good. I think this would only fall short if it were Orc mirror so this is gonna be totally fine for grubby all right then happy of course best micro in the world but also crazy game knowledge same goes for grubby oftentimes playing a little unorthodox and especially if you face unorthodox strategies with an off race that you're not too familiar with this might be uh the edge for the grubster here absolutely yeah and um this is a good matchup just for orc in general as well i would say and grubby has a ton of experience against there's plenty of good european humans that he plays against all the time so he should know what's up happy goes for the tuscar camp which tends to be the camp you go for if you're going to power creep level three and you go sanctums if you go quick level three so happy doing some different things if he is going to go for those rifles but grubby just goes for the goes for the peasants might not get any exactly. kills here Tower isn't up. Maybe he wants to bait that tower. His tech advantage is already quite big. So yeah, he goes tower before tech. And Grubby's tech advantage is rising. Yeah, it's quite a big tech advantage at this point. Water elemental. It's a decent chunk of experience that Grubby would like to get. But Happy, of course, there's no way Happy's going to allow that to happen. He was just baiting oh. the Farseer to come in further. And the Farseer is still on 0 XP. No peasants go down. But Happy's tech is quite a bit delayed, as you mentioned. Grubby's... 70% done his already. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Grubby, I think in this matchup, he should be pretty practiced, right? He had a show match against Hippo this very Monday. Uh, kind of like a revenge for what happened in the Back to Walker Weekly two weeks ago. He knows what to do now that the fast is out. But he can't get any steals because Happy is a little bit of a different beast than Hippo. Yeah, and Happy going to get further and further closer to level three, but I don't think he's gonna, or he actually certainly will not be level three on time to do any tier two damage to Grubby, who is now approaching. Grubby comes in for more peasant harass, but the arcane tower is done, so this isn't really gonna do much, but what it has done is, of course, delay this Archmage from being level three, and the stronghold is now gonna finish. We'll see what the tech choice is for Grubby. Will he go for the bestiary? Will he go for the pure grunt shaman? Or will he go for that tier three tech that some players have been doing? It looks like TC for now, and then the tech yeah, remains to be seen. If you get tier 3, you need a Shadow Hunter, right? To mm -hmm. cover for it, because you need so much time to creep up the TC himself, and yeah. then don't have the time for the tier 3. So, pretty standard build by Grubby. Nothing crazy so far. What can be different from Grubby compared to other orcs may be the expansion timing or the lack thereof. He might just stay on one base, especially against the rifles, as we see the blacksmith from Happy. Um, but no bestiary yet. Fourth headhunter on the way. And the Archmage, not really level 3, so this uh, greedy 
militia creeping early on for Happy and delaying the tech. All these things haven't paid off because generally what you invest by delaying that tech, um, you you get back in that level 3 Archmage pressure. But Happy getting nothing out of this. His tech is delayed pretty much for nothing. To that, we saw some nice little last hits here. Also, Wolves resummon. Grubby is not giving Happy an inch. And there's also no defense, so the Headhunters are getting stronger and stronger. Regeneration is kicking in. Shaman are coming. Quite a high level match here between the two. Tech for Happy about to be done. First rifle's coming, but TC is already leveling. Yes, it's pretty nicely done from Grubby. He can go straight to the expansion afterwards. If he gets level 3 Torrent Chief, and by the time this Mountain King is out, he might even be able to contest the shop and marketplace. And this is this is why the fast tech is necessary, not only to get that Mountain King earlier, but to be able to creep these camps aggressively with that Mountain King. Because if you give the Orc too much space, too much time, the Mountain King is just going to have to sit back, which is not really going to favor the human at all. So this is, yeah, this is looking really good for Grubby. I agree. Good zoning so far. Keeps Happy busy in his own base, buying the time for the TC. But man, what a day for Happy this is. First he faces Infi, third most decorated player in the history of this game. Now he faces Grubby, I think top five mm -hmm. in earnings, and of course, absolute legend. And he also in the quarterfinal defeated Please Kevin Schwem. Of course. As he knows, biggest legend that German Warcraft has ever produced, at least. So, uh, happy the legend killer here today, maybe. Probably doing something a little bit different. He's going for tier three, which is interesting. As you mentioned, the Shadow Hunter is the typical choice to deal with potential defend footmen if you're going for pure headhunters. But uh, I suppose Happy didn't go for defend. He is going for rifle caster and. Grubby going to counter this with tier 3, which actually isn't that bad, but he is going to give up a lot of map control in doing so. Yeah, absolutely. But Shamana here now, TC is level 3. He can contest a little, right? Like Marketplace? He has uh, quite some tools. Falsia is severely underleveled, but he has a solution against the Water Elementals, and great minds think alike. Grubby and I, same game plan. Yeah, this is pretty nicely done from Grubby. Actually, a perfect timing. He knew that Happy would be going for the shop, so he snags the marketplace. I don't think he'd be able to ma win a fight here without a potion of vulnerability. He might be able to get some unit kills, but I don't think in the end he would trade favored uh, Grubby. So smart of him to steal away that mana stone from Happy. And Happy just going to pick up the remnants, and Grubby just going to buy even more time. If Grubby gets tier 3, gets Berserkers, get Bloodlust, before Happy has Mount King level 3, he's going to be in a game-winning position. That's going to be great, because uh, Clap is, of course, amazing against Headhunters, but when they have the upgrade, it's not that great anymore. Fossey in trouble. Clap! Oh, no! There I said it! How good Clap can be! And here you have it. Trying to counter this with Lightning Shield and Stomp, but you got to run away from the Dwarf now. No mana anymore. Lightning Shield as well. And another Headhunter oh, goes no. down. That's not that great. A little bit of chaos here in the middle of Northern Isles. Yeah, a little bit of a kiwi cocky timing there from Grubby. He's going to lose a couple of units. The first series is only level one. It was luckily not that uh, point one of experience further progress. That would have been level two. That would have hurt quite a bit more. But now Happy going to have tons and tons of map control to continue stealing away creep camps from Grubby. Grubby needs about another, let's say, 40 seconds to be fully online. He probably wants that third hero, I would imagine, that Shadow Hunter as well. So Grubby going to have to give up a lot of map control. A pennant of energy as well to Happy now. <laughs> nice, yeah. And he's trying to fight Lightning Shield again, but happy splits are great. Dispel before the storm for the damage mitigation. This extraordinary. Grubby's timing, everything but extraordinary. His big upgrades are still in research. We have the upgrade now. HP bonus for the Berserkers, but might be just a little bit too late already. Yeah, I think Grubby could have maybe just gone for a red there. It's tough to creep, but doable once the Berserkers pop. And Happy would have gotten more creeps on the map. But when you're behind like this, you can just go to one of those far distant corners and at least get a decent chunk of experience. Now Happy has all the map control in the world. And Grubby lost those extra units that would have allowed him to creep these bigger camps. So he's left just creeping a green, whereas Happy just going to go from camp to camp to camp. He can go to the market, or he can go to the lab after. Then he can go to the red, then he can go to his expansion. And Grubby going to be struggling to contest these camps. Oh yeah, that was brutal. What's the play attack. now, Grubby? This is uh, where you thrive usually, when you're behind and then somehow come back with your great game sense and great experience. 
contesting the lab now, but how do you even do that? Severely underleveled still. Speed scroll engagement. Okay, he's trying to play the tier 3 advantage, but Happy is countering this beautifully again. And yeah, nice storm bolts, nicer dispel as well. Some damage. But um, Militia come in, and this is why it's so hard to contest these middle camps. And Stormbolt doesn't go for the surround. That would have probably been a horrible mistake that a lot of humans would have made there. But Happy, realizing he's low on mana, doesn't want to engage. He wants to wait for that tier 3, wants to wait for that inner fire. Shadowhunter comes in now. And Grumpy finally might be in a position to win a fight, but he's got to keep that Torn Chieftain safe. That's why he's waiting for the Potion of Vulnerability, and he does now have it. Oh, Replenishment Potion sold. Circlet bought. Okay, both carry items have that in bolt. Dispel on the illusion. That's the real TC being stopped in his tracks again. Happy always paying attention to that TC. Stops it so quickly. Gets into the back line. Needs an invo potion soon. Mountain King out of mana actually. Yeah. Aura level 2 is going to help. He's going to soon have a storm bolt. But if you use that on the TC, it'll just be dodged and there will be no clap, which is really what Happy needs to be using right now. It seems like Grubby is winning this fight. Micro is pretty strong for both players. The Dispels have been particularly good for Happy. Next Stomp is going to be a big one. One header might finally fall. But yet the Stomp... Oh my god, look at the spread. But not good oh. enough. Oh my god. I think Grubby's winning this game, Neo. Looks great! Happy's losing unit after unit after unit, and I said it! That's when Grubby is so scary! And he proved once again that he knows when to fight. The first two engagements, probably not the best, but three times a charm. And now Happy is down in supply, but his tier 3 is finished. Yeah, I mean, both players choosing some weird fights. That was a terrible timing from Happy, honestly. Like, he was so close to tier 3, he had no reason to fight there either. I guess he was fighting over the lab, but he could have just as easily crept his expansion, crept the other scorpion camp, then crept the red in the time it took Grubby to really, you know, pull and creep that one camp. But Happy... Now down to pretty much no army, and here comes Grubby yet again. He still has tons of consumables, notably that mana stone. Yeah, exactly, and I feel like Grubby has to close it out now. The longer the human is at tier 3, the better it gets. Shadowhunter in a lot of trouble has a heal wave for himself. Now level 2 wolves, there's limited dispel, no breakers of course for Happy. Invo potion on the TC gets again a lot of targets with that, but this time follow-up damage is lacking a little bit. Grubby also busy with the creeps, that hurts. Shadowhunter, another heal wave, and that's a money stomp with a lightning shield. The nice, but the Mountain King has so much mana. I think Grubby's gonna have to Town Portal. Oh, this TC, he's gotta pass the Town Portal to the TC. He's gotta get it in range. Some more cleanup kills, but the Mountain King, one more Storm Bolt. This TC's just dead, I think. He's gotta pass the TP. He's gotta pass it. There we go. Nicely done. Paladin comes in. Inner Fire's gonna be finishing probably soon, but Happy's out of units. 41 versus 47, and Grubby gets out of there using both consumables, but almost TC level 5. We have a game, boys! That's quite exciting! I thought after the first two engagement, Happy is gonna steamroll him. It's gonna be a clean thing. But uh uh, Grubby is here to fight. It's pretty insane what we're seeing here. Yeah, Grubby's gotta be careful not to overextend, though. He's feeling confident right now, but he's got nothing to save the TC. And Happy is not lacking in Mountain King mana. So Grubby needs to be contesting that with potions of vulnerability, with heal scrolls. If he engages in right now, oh. it, it might be rough. This Mountain King's gonna carry hard. Heal potion on the TC needs to be used soon, I guess, but there's also heal wave. Hex comes in against the Pally. Slow doesn't really help. Wants the Pally out. He can't, of course, hold light himself. TC in trouble now. Where's the potion? Where does the cooldown off? There we go. Paladin still in. Healing that Mountain King up. Oh, Epi sent to stomp. But can you get out, big cow? Yeah, one more storm bolt used. Focus fire. The micro on the paladin was ridiculous. Oh. He got a holy light on the mountain king to save him. Torn chieftain now is out. Oh, berserkers do so much more damage than this army currently does for happy. Mountain king finally out of mana, but has one more storm bolt to potentially kill that torn chieftain if he goes too far in. Chain lightning is big, but happy is just barely squeaking by with these heroes at least. But he's running out of units. Oh man, blood loss. Can the heroes survive for happy? They need to. More, more rifles are falling. Oh Who's God. gonna die? Grubby is committing hard with his headhunters, losing one, two, three, feeding them all away. It's a bloodbath on Northern Isles. Everything painted red on the ground. Who has more longevity here now? Jesus. Yeah. Happy's micro is actually ridiculous. Like, he, he had no business even being close in this fight oh. and saves all oh. the heroes. This is just insane, but he's really running out of steam now. I think so. The Brilliant Sora has to do so much work. 
Also, the longevity of the wolves in this game were 15 minutes in, and yep. they still tore these rifles new ones. Bloodlust man, ra ra ra! Is it winning the game? Level five TC. Oh, Stormbolt, nice control of the TC. He's half health, but that one stomp. But yeah, just stomp whatever you can get. He gets a rifle. He forces a potion on the Paladin. Mountain King gets a clap, but it's still only level one clap. Farseer gets level four. There's level two chain lightning. Shadow Hunter uses the last heal wave. Grubby has no way out though. No speed scroll. No more potions. Yeah. No heal scroll. Is he overextending? There could be a mana pause soon. Yeah, fighting against the shop, that's bad. He needs to kill this Mountain King, I feel. With the next stomp, this has to let. Oh my god, the Holy Light again. It's so close. Grubby can't get that dwarf, but he's stuck now to the castle. Oh, what is this Farseer doing? Farseer. Oh my god, he, no man's land there for a second. <laughs> Jesus. Rifles are falling. 30 supply. Grubby with a 20 supply lead. One hero kill decides the game, and this Pally, does he have gold for potion? Yes, he does. Dude, these heroes. All the units have been dying for happy, but the heroes have not fallen, which means they're getting as much XP as they could, but Grubby, certainly he's going to close this out, right? Oh, he's. I think he's getting nervous. Look at these units. The Farseer before as well. Like, he's, he's being a little bit fumbly-bumbly here. Could just back away and tiny at any stage, really, with his advantage, but he wants to close it out. A shop would be so nice with peons coming for heal selves, clarities, anything really. More more bloodlust means also not too many purges, not only against the water elemental, but also for crowd control to slow down the heroes. Okay. We are not stopping here. Grubby smelling blood in the water. Focus fire on the TC again, but he's a tanky boy. <laughs> Happy got one mana potion before the shop went down. Used it on the Mountain King, but he still needs level four. Is there a stomp? No, he's a few mana points away. The priest set a position. One of them will fall. No, Holy Light, Happy's micro is ridiculous, but he's trying to hold on, but he's got barely anything left. But really, Grubby, you can tell how much he wants to end the game right now, but he just yeah. can't seem to do it. Yeah, exactly. Rally Point seems to be off a little bit, now fixing it. Has a Sentry Ward here to see if Happy expands, but Happy has no resource at all to expand. Mountain King diving deep, and as I said, if there's a couple more purges here, he could stun and slow him down, maybe get it. So Grubby, what's plan B? You tried to brute force him, didn't work, but yeah, shop control is a very solid way. 57 versus 38. Speaking of shop, is that being rebuilt for Happy? He just seems to not have enough peasants, really. He's got enough lumber, at least, and Happy, realizing how behind he is, wasting no time to go for that red camp. But Grubby just going to continue pressing forward. He can now kill all the peasants, and Happy isn't going to creep the red camp. I was wondering if he was just going to sack all the peasants to get that XP, at least. But he's going to go back and try and defend. Is this the point in which Grubby can finally break Happy? The Mountain King is going to get four. Paladin is going to get two. It's big level ups, but there's also no TP. And he didn't get these level ups because Grubby realized this quick enough. TC have mana, has an invo potion, more, more bloodlust. Can he kill a hero this time? This army, look at, where's the damage? The damage is basically just the Mountain King. Yeah. TC taking care of the entire backline. MK, half HP, Pally, no mana, GG. Grubby does it. 1-0 for Grubby. All right, he makes it work. And remember, this is just a best of three. If the luck is not in Happy's favor for the next random, we could see another orc for his human. And Grubby proves to be pretty strong in that matchup, as it seems. Very well done. Holy moly. I thought he's out. I thought he's out twice when Happy uh, kind of stomped him mm -hmm. in the first two engagements. We're a little, little premature, maybe. But oh boy, that third fight, yeah, five stars by Grubby. So well done. Yeah, super insane micro from, from both players. Yeah, that fight down there at the expansion as well, the 1-1 one, one Grubby was already ahead. Happy just barely holding on to that paladin, gets the priest heal, gets the holy light on the Mountain King. But uh, Grubby was always in control after that fight by the lab that you just mentioned. And it seems like my prediction was wrong. Secret Valley 2.0 will be the second map, which um, is a strong, in quotations, orc map. Maybe it used to be, not anymore. I've yet to really find out. I saw exactly one map played here on the new Secret Valley. So I don't want to judge anything. Um, let, let these guys tell us what yeah. it's about. But first, of course, we have to figure out... What Happy's race is, it's... You want to tell them? 
I think everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most common race for Happy to random? Of course, it's going to be in game number two, the true test for Grubby. It's undead, and he's going ghouls. Okay, we got a standard game here, but Grubby, let's mention again, he went for the straight tech Farseer last game. That is the standard opener against undead nowadays. Exactly. So this won't put him behind like it would against Night Elf, for example. If Happy ends up on Night Elf, the Farseer build is not necessarily the best. Mm -hmm. Playable with some variations, but yeah. Against Undead, you're, you're fine, right? Yeah. And now I'm really curious, how good are these guys with creep routes on the new version of Secret Valley? Because levels are so insanely important on this map. Yeah, they, of course, very, very important and very fast, I think. If you go for the, you have the two greens outside your base, the bigger Murloc and the small little Null Camp, that gets you level two. And then you can creep that orange to the left of Happy's base, to the right of Grubby's base pretty quickly. And then I think just one more green, the green may be close uh, to their base, right to the right or left of it. I think that gets you level three. So this is going to be good for Happy because smaller camps is in this ghoul meta really, really strong for undead because you just sort of want to creep with only the ghouls while being pressured by the Farseer. You can stop that with just a Death Knight. So this might be a good undead map in this current meta against Orc. <sighs> My excitement levels. The first match was already insane. Yeah. Now both with their main races. Oh, please. Make this... Take all the gold of this map. Take all the expansions. Make this a 60-minute banger. I want it all. I want the max out of this series. I kind of want Happy to win this just to get map 3. Absolutely, yeah. Just to see the roll of the dice one more time for what the race will be. All right, there's a fast tech. Farseer is going to go across the map to harass. And then the goal of Grubby is just to stop the Death Knight at all costs from getting level 3. And particularly getting level 3 with full mana. Oh, Happy is just going to go for the Null Camp right away. Oh, this is so much XP. Wow. But is Grubby realizing this and just storms over right away? Before we get the action here, thank you very much. Got a puke for the 8 month reset, Pump Feet Steps 13 month, Oba's Bear Cows for the 20 month, and Show the Billy for the 7 month reset. Much love, guys. Thank you. Okay, Grubby goes to the main base, actually. I'm surprised he didn't clear Murloc Knoll and then go to that bigger Knoll camp, but he is going to go for the Acolytes. I think a mistake, actually. He's not going to get much done here. At least he'll force the Death Knight back, and at least the Death Knight doesn't get straight level 2 from that camp. If the Death Knight gets Aura, it makes it way, way stronger in this defense. Yeah, exactly. I think this has two purposes, right? So first, you mentioned keep happy away from level two as long as possible and it's a similar approach to what he played on map one delay the tech grubby's tech is so fast true and it's halfway done and happy is a 70 gold away from tier two so i think mission accomplished yeah it's not so bad so far i wouldn't be surprised to see happy there he goes for the tech but i wouldn't be surprised to see happy just fully commit in for one of these small greens just get that level two at all costs even if you take some damage even if you lose a ghoul sometimes just get that aura and then surrounds become a possibility then the damage on the death knight is no longer as painful as it once was so yeah we're just gonna see happy commit in for this night crawler shouldn't be any potential for last hits not at this level there's level two and there's the aura Whew, okay, how much damage is there from wolves? Not too much, actually. Maybe missed opportunity. Lightning bolts ended up on creeps and a little bit on ghouls, but not even the ghouls are really threatened. Grubby playing this tier 2 advantage, or has to play the tier 2 advantage. Yeah, how is that going to translate? Typically, this translated into Torn Chieftain levels, but we have, of course, seen Farseer at times. But, of course, with the lacking number of Headhunters, or not, or Shadowhunter, rather, Shadowhunter is not going to be too impactful with the Hex. So Torn Chieftain, yeah, is going to have to be the play. And then we'll eventually see the Tier 3 tech from Grubby as well. So he's going to have to leverage this time that he has to get level 3 PC, ideally before that Lich is out, and ideally, in, in the best-case scenario, before that Death Knight's level 3. TC coming, one third done, Farseer, oh, can he get a last idea? Oh, it was close, but I think he didn't. Solid damage, but maybe you should put more damage on the DK instead of the ghouls? Yeah, it's always a tough call to make, because it seems like you can get some ghoul kills against other players, maybe you could, but against Happy, you just can't get them, he's always going to calculate it perfectly, he's always going to have a coil available, so yeah, maybe damage on the DK could have been better, but uh, at least Grubby has 
definitely slow down Happy. If you allow the undead just to creep without harass on this map, I think you can get level 3 DK probably in three and a half minutes. Something like that uh, at the three and a half minute mark. So this harass has done quite a good job. The TC is already creeping. True that. Last hits mostly go to Happy, but a little bit of experience here and there. Happy, of course. Great micro, sending the ghouls back whenever he has to. And the community here, great support. Thank you, Sturmi, for 1,000 bits. Greetings from East Frisia. That's where I grew up. And thank you, Rick Prime, for the four-year reset. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Grubby losing one head under the creeps because he's, of course, been microing his Farseer a ton, but... At least he stopped this Death Knight from getting level 3. And how does Happy get level 3 DK? He's getting Dark Ranger second, something he's been doing more and more recently. But he needs at least one head on her kill to be able to get this level 3 on the DK. And the TC yep. might give it to him. I was worried that Happy would just uh, shocky coil that fast here, but uh uh, he's using that on Headhunters, and that might be big losses for Grubby here. Solid retreat, I'd say, but the TC has no stomp, can't do anything against it. Skeleton storming into the back line, but the peons are helping. The proletariat. Oh. A ghoul go down. Yeah, that was a weird ghoul. Yeah, this is something that Hitman has mentioned about Happy's play that maybe could be optimized a little bit. Happy tends to bring in ghouls for no real reason. You can do all the damage you need to do with just the two heroes. You don't need to bring ghouls in. It only gives the orc something to actually trade out when they're losing these headhunters. So Happy brings the ghouls back. First raider is out, but in snare is actually is done. FS. 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 Cloak pass oh. level three. It was so close. Could have TP'd as well. But maybe the TP will have to be used on happy side. He's getting so much value though. Yeah, GG, boom, Grubby calls it just like that. Emperor's Revenge. This is what you get when you mess with the Emperor. Yup, and uh, you know, Undead is is tough, and Secret Valley proves to be pretty strong. Happy got level three just when he needed it. Um, yeah, it's, it can be hard to not take that much damage against the harass. Grubby seemed to have good counter harass, delaying that DK, but then lose the head under to the creeps, lose another head under to the to the death knight, gets level three, loses the farseer. It can really snowball out of control if the uh, if the undead just hits a nice timing with their second hero. Okay, we got what we wanted though. Mm -hmm. We had game five, uh, game game three. So a little stint on Secret Valley, and now the decider. Is Happy gonna go into his, what is it by now? 17th grand final? <laughs> or is it gonna be Grubby's first? Yeah, he's been in every single grand final, however many that is. But, uh, and by the way, everybody, I'm putting Last Refuge on here because Secret Valley is not on there, but Last Refuge equals Secret Valley in this case. And Autumn Leaves will be map number three. From the upper... Uh, the other part of a bracket, we have a couple of results. Starbuck defeats Leon 2-0, a little foreshadowing about the Arcadia World Series qualifier tomorrow, where this will happen again. And Dice defeats Sheik, so the other semifinal is Starbuck versus Dice. And the winner, of course, will face the winner of this semifinal. Yeah, regardless, we're going to have quite the banger grand final. Would be nice to see Starbuck make it through. That might be his first time in the grand finals, so it'd be cool to see no, him. No, sir, because the first time we ran this cup uh, after the break, uh, it was Starbuck versus Happy in the finals. So. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. This is number two. We Although we have, of course, seen Happy versus Dice maybe like six, seven times at this point. So regardless, we're going to be freshening it up a little bit. Yeah, Dice was also the only one defeating Happy in the grand final, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, which was pretty insane. That was against Happy's random. But we'll see if Grubby could do it. Autumn leaves. Let's see what Happy randoms. Will it be undead again? Hopefully for Grubby's sake, not. But let's see. And here it is. It is Night Elf. So three different races for Happy. Ooh, this is tricky now. Orc versus Night Elf when you don't know that your opponent is Night Elf. Yeah. That's one of the roughest situations you can be in as a orc. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, Grubby has a decent amount of experience playing Farseer Hunters against Elf. Sometimes he does it by choice. But um, I wonder, against Sonic earlier, <laughs> we saw two Barracks Headhunters on this map. Is that a possibility when Grubby sees what Happy's race is? Hmm. He could... Certainly go for a tower push. Happy is usually very, very good at dealing with these cheeses, but mm -hmm. I think 
towers work work quite well if you get like a, a level before which is definitely possible here it's not a super fast tech and that's uh good news for all the grubby fans out there yeah he is switching some things up which is a a good little blind call by him um and He'll probably Hopefully still go for the harass right away. No pee on scout, of course. Kind of forces him to, in a way. And Happy does the right ancient war creep. Just going to go for the green camp. Doesn't want to risk going for that shop. He can take a ton of damage going for that. And we'll see what Grubby's choice of strategy is. He's going for the... T did he know that it's... Did he see a wisp or something? I don't know. I don't know where. Wisp is coming over only now. What the hell? Is this mad lad going double rex headhunter all in and doesn't know what he's facing? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! I think so. I'd have to check the replay. I'd have to check his VOD to see what he said, but this, I mean, this is the right play. This is what he, he showed to like to do against Sonic. So we'll see. Is Happy prepared for this? I think the best response for Happy would just be to build four Moonwells, or at least four in total, and just spam archers that's all you got to do i think and that'll be just fine well uh certainly better than the huntress but mm -hmm. you know sonic doing sonic things we have a kill here wisp goes down the one wisp didn't hit both wolves at the same time that was quite nice so happy is losing a couple of resources a couple of workers techs now though and when will this massive hat hunters hit him I wonder if Happy saw the Grubby Sonic series. I doubt he did. He was probably playing his own quarterfinal at that stage, so he might not be aware of this. Um, although it's not entirely uncommon if you're a Night Elf player to see this strategy, I don't think Happy will be too aware of it. Level 2, though, that is very, very important for Happy. Grubby hides the Headhunters for now. Gonna go grab dust from the shop, maybe sell the TP even. And yeah, he does, and now he can start to amass the Headhunters. For now, though, I don't think Grubby can trade favorably. I think so either. But alright. Soon. Is the burrow late? Oh, the next burrow is late, Carson! Ooh. Is it not? Is it? I think a little bit, yes. It's always tricky to know when to build that burrow on time for this build order, but I think it's slightly late. At least the next two headhunters are just coming out now. And Grubby lost one headhunter, so that actually kind of helps him in a way, but yeah, slightly, slightly late. But now, Happy must know what's on the way. Oh, yeah. Just by the timing of how many headhunters are here, for sure. No tech. This is all in. He's going for an upgrade, so it works out with the burrow at least for now. But Entangle is so damn strong. Nice deny by Grubby. Freeze up supply. Can build another headhunter now, but very low on resources. But Happy also very low on Moon Juice. He's got a decent amount of nighttime left, though, and he's got an Ancient Wonders coming up in the back for Clarities, of course. Every Entangle can pretty much equal a kill. Grubby has Peons here. He's going to Tower Crawl, actually. But Happy has no Hunter's Hall, so no Counter AP, no Glaive Throwers, um, no... No Ultra Vision. Exactly. Yeah. So he's just going to have Archers and a, at least a strong second hero, probably a Panda at Tier 2. He's even getting to the Tavern. Grubby allows this, but yeah. That should be the case. Grubby has some time to creep. That gives Happy the vision on the tower, and that ain't working. Too many archers, man. What's he supposed to do? No TP, of course, with that. But at least he got Chain Lightning now, but so little mana as well. Yeah, I think all he can hope for is really to just pressure that Keeper to the point where there's no mana left, no Moon Juice left. Now there's the Panda, though. But more headers are going to stream in. The shop on the way. Towers are coming up. And uh, not going to get a money breath off right away. Going to save his mana for the time being. But Happy is actually ahead in supply right now. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to be. Ahead in tech. Ahead in supply. Cancels the towers for the third time. It's like Grubby is running out of options. Happy also access to staff now. To yeah. potions. What's he supposed to do? This, this strat does work from, from Grubby, but you need to go for an immediate expansion and then use the massive headhunters to to leverage the expansion, and then you just continue running at the, the Night Elf. And even if you lose a bunch of headhunters, you just replace them uh, via that expansion. That's how the strategy can work, but just all inning. Well, Happy showing us the way to defend it, obviously, right now. Grubby is going to really struggle 
He still has a chance because it's about to be daytime, but he cannot win a fight right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Nice splits against the breaths. But yeah, these towers just instantly cancel due to great scouting by Happy. He always knew where his opponent is, where the structures are being built, and he found the time to cancel them, which is not that hard with archers eventually, if you know that this is happening. Grubby checking now at almost the seven minute mark. This is bad. Yeah, it's especially bad because now the panda can creep. I mean, headhunters, obviously, they do scale later into the game, so having this many is maybe not the end of the world for Grubby, but what will be is if that panda gets level 3 before the tier 2 is done, and Happy gonna waste no time creeping. He's gonna be able to get that level 2 and a nice item here, and Grubby just needs to be completely, probably passive until he can heal up at least. Happy, by the way, he denied two creeps with the Ancient of War first, yeah, I didn't and now that. he has four wisps in the main. Four white sometime. That's oh. 500 gold already. That's wow. White time. Yeah, those are some. Those are some big mistakes. Uh, luckily, he's night elf. <laughs> hey, stop that. Uh, so it'll be. It'll be not the end of the world. He's got 50 supply. He's a blow upkeep. He's gonna get that panda leveled up. He gets the onk and has the staff. And here comes Happy. Is he just? Is he gonna go for the burrows? I don't see that being the worst play in the world. Grubby is a little out of position. Everything is so hurt. Fossey is back. Needs the selves. Has a couple of them. Plus heal scroll and protection scroll. Oh, that panda says hello. Oh, that first breath is pretty good. Heal scroll is even better, though. And panda not level 3. But the Farseer has not a lot of health left. Neither does the panda, but he has that onk, of course. And the panda has one more haze fire combination. And Grubby, without those wolves, because there's wisps here for Happy. If there wasn't those wisps, yeah. the wolves could tear apart these archers. But with them, Grubby can't win a fight. How long, I wonder. There was 300 gold. What did he get? Ah, oh, speed scroll. New heal self. He needs that. And yeah, this burrow is mighty exposed. Yeah, that's going to be a supply block. Grubby in no time. The priest is healing up the panda. And Grubby trying to hold on. He's got another set of wolves, but he needs to deal with the Wisps and that Shadow Priest, actually, first. Yeah. Super solid. He's arriving on Tier 2, so potions are a thing now. But it's just heal self. The army is looking better than it was before. Chain Lightning gets one archer only. Heroes. Can he do it with heroes? The one has an Ankh, the other has a TP and a Staff. Unlikely. Mana pot chain lightning is a possibility that Happy has to be aware of. And Grubby seems to have held because the panda. If the panda was on level 3, Happy could just run at Grubby all day. But now Grubby gets full regen. Needs that burrow before he can get a second hero. And then I'm wondering if Grubby can afford to go for a Shadow Hunter or if he just needs to grab something like an Alchemist as early as possible. Ooh, wouldn't be bad. Happy is still 4 out of 5, by the way. Dude. <laughs> Is, so did he get donated or something cool. to do this? This is a, almost a thousand gold. <laughs> 800, man. TC second it is. Okay. Grubby is not out of this because Happy allows it. Because Happy is making mistakes. But also Happy gets a greater mana potion that is on the way to tier 3. Yeah, I imagine the reason why Happy hasn't noticed this yet is because he hasn't needed the lumber or built lures so he hasn't been like checking his wisp count he hasn't been like moving wisps to you know build lures and stuff like that he's just sort of he built a shop at tier one and now he's just been teching with mass archers so he has had no reason to really check his his wisp or lumber or gold count at all Whew. dude if happy loses because of that with the incredible speed scroll by grubby he had a full, ah, he had no start. slot anymore. Yeah. I see, I see, I see. And he follows into tier 3. We somehow get a mid and late game. Somewhat, yeah. The panda is creeping. What Happy's best play here would be is just try to gobble up as much of the map as he can with only that panda. Keeper needs no more experience for the rest of the game. Panda get all the XP. If the panda gets level 5, especially... Uh, because Grubby went for Torn Chieftain second, not Shadowhunter. The panda's going to kill his whole army by himself. Oh, you, the only way yeah, to counter the panda is to get Shadowhunter level 5 yourself. That is an interesting choice. Why does he choose the TC over healing? 
I mean, you got hero kill potential with a shadow hunter as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That can't be pulled. How does Happy scout this? Okay, he just knows. He does. You don't scout when you're happy. You just got the spidey senses. Yeah, no shamans. Torn totem, by the way. So it's going to be a while before dispel. That's going to mean this keeper can literally chase the whole orc army. And Grubby only has one choice. He's got to just purely, you know, speed scroll in and either focus that keeper. Or he's just got to lose his whole army. Those are his only options. So it's, uh, this is rough. Very, very rough. TC is not looking too great. Down to 50%. Drunken Haze. That is slow, of course. Uh, no entangle anymore, though. Might get away. Happy fix his gold mine, finally, by the way. All After right. 1,000 <laughs> gold, literally. 1,000 gold. I'm trying to do the math of how much that is. That's, um... 1,000. Oh, how much time, rather, that is. Ah! Yeah. Would be... I think that's 10 minutes, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's 10 minutes, because 6,000 gold would be 10 minutes on 5 wisps. I think... Maybe my math is wrong. I don't know. I think it is. Chat will tell us. Yeah, I think it's 10 minutes. I think it's 10 minutes, chat. Okay, red camp, though. Panda getting even more XP. Wow, this is getting dangerous. We get a pat. Uh, Katka's pipe. Yep, hallelujah. Happy likes that. And we get a Potomac as well as an additional orb carry and the aura. Second aura then for him. Grubby, second attempt to get a red spot to finally creep up that TC. I think... Like, the Spirit Link edition is very nice against this Mass Archer play. Yeah, he's got uh, no Adept yet on the Walkers. His Berserkers are going to be done in time, but of course he doesn't really have the Lumber currently to go for the Reinforced Defenses. TC. Oh, gets level 3 if you creep that camp! No! He did oh. that, that last Wolf, he would have been level 3, but he panics a little bit, runs back home. Yeah. And this is a tough no fight. TP. Yeah. Super tough! The burrows are suffering, peons are suffering, supply is low, tier 3 is finished, okay, but for what? Berserker upgrade, at least that's done, that's a huge help against the Panda Breath of Fire. Happy has a TP, also has staffs, but that's also level 4. Wolves raging, but oh, peons suffering so hard! Grubby has to fight into his own base and it's super uncomfortable. Oh, Happy blocks away with a Shadow Melted Archer as well, by the way. Oh. Stomp is going to have to break that open oh. if Grubby wants a chance to get in. Yeah, he probably realizes now. Luckily, he's got the range to be able to actually fight here. If this was Grunts like the standard army, it'd be very difficult. But the TC's here and yeah, okay. So Happy oh. TP's away, but the breath is huge. And how many peons do we have? We have enough at least, but yeah, that's a really nice fight from Happy. Whew, not bad, but we're at one base, one base, tier three, tier three. And this is something that I didn't expect saying after that botched tower push yeah. or failed tower push. Grubby is getting leveled as well. TC creeping speed was contested and still very good. But now lores are coming, bears are coming. Happy getting big upgrades. By the way, what did Grubby get from the red camp? He sold whatever it was. Do you remember? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't no, see I don't it. Know. He sold it right away with the Farseer, so it must have been something. Maybe Endurance Aura or something like that. Grubby has three heal scrolls. How can he afford to have three heal scrolls at this stage of the game? Yeah, realizing uh, the panda can truly solo this army if you don't have those. And he doesn't have the Shadow Hunter, of course. The panda's not even level five yet, and we're being shown exactly why right now Ow. heal scroll needed is a very tough fight for Grubby. Yeah, one of the reasons, of course, because he can't build anything else because he's supply blocked after losing all this. Ah, uh, Happy's Archer splits are gorgeous. That's exactly what you do to counter this TC. Yep, and the panda just carries at the same time. All you need to do is buy time for that breath cooldown to be off. Next heal scroll. Gonna have to use this is already the third heal scroll about to be used for Grubby. A second, right? He has one more on the Fastia. But he's he have, losing more and more. Did he have three in total, though? Yeah, but he used two. He has one more. Okay, Fastia level yeah. five. Needs to save that one. Oh, that was the last. But now he got Wolf wait, three. Wait, Grubby traded yeah. favorably here, actually. The, yeah, the what? TC, the back line, just evaporated. This is a very confusing game, Neil, I will admit. <laughs> it is. <laughs> What's going on? Three heal scrolls, though, oh that, uh, that even though Happy lost more units, 750 gold in items for Grubby. But, of course, at least that's not experience to the Panda. The Panda no closer to level 5 than he once was. Exactly. Oh, man. Can he force a staff? Trigger the cooldown? That would be nice. 
nicely yeah, done. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well done. Um, supply is even. Tech is even. Bases are even. This is all kind of even. And Grubby can replenish his army quite fast with those double barracks that he still has, of course. So Grubby... One thing he's lacking currently is mana, and of course another thing is those heal scrolls. He's going to need those for every fight he takes. And Happy realizes the weakness. It's the burrows, it's the lumber, it's the economy. Yeah, still no cement upgrade because he never had that lumber. Town portal aggressively, okay. Can he stop him somehow? He has the movement speed advantage. Staff is off cooldown though. How does Grubby deal with these bears soon? When he can't get a higher number of headhunters or walkers or anything. Yeah, it's going to be attack. difficult. I mean, a start would be plus three attack, I suppose. Working his way up to getting some more lumber to get that would be a decent counter. But, yeah, it's going to be difficult. At least he can land some better stomps probably at that stage. But Happy's just probably going to continue hitting the economy over and over again. You know what? Happy is beating Grubby with Grubby style. Yep. And that's just because no He's showing him. That's it. He's no showing him how it's done. And the breath. Oh, no. All the peons are getting low, too. Difficult. Difficult oh, position for Grubby. Okay. Where are you going for? There's only one staff, right? For two heroes. One might just die. The panda's, of course, way more important. Pot him. Pot him. Would be so nice to get that kill. But Happy knows exactly when to read that scroll and when to move away. Hurts, man. We have, like, what, four peons left? Yeah, they're all one HP as well. And now the bears, the moon juice would have been hurt because of that attack. But, of course, the bears and the clarity is going to solve all the problems for Happy and Grubby. Level 3 wolves still could find some serious value. But uh, his time is running out. 38 against 48. And Grubby was once ahead in supply. Yeah. Happy doesn't want to break upkeep for now, at least. More creeping. TC5 might be the solution. A great item here. More bears are coming. Happy. Is he kind of scared to get, like, Zeppelin dropped? Because he has half his army in the base. Yeah, maybe he realizes he can just win this purely off harassing. And he can just TP out and he's always going to be ahead. I mean, he's definitely going to... Um, I mean, eventually, Grubby's going to be out of peons. This is how Happy wins the game. Exactly. Players forces are under attack. 250 gold left. Grubby's response. Ooh, it's not in time again. He can't get these burrows up. More and more peons are suffering. Wolf in the main, okay. It's not doing that much damage. And Panda has a staff. There's no disable because the TC can't reach. So damage done again. Happy forces Grubby into a situation where he can't rebuild his economy and just no income left at all. And Happy's going to be able to uh, move that Tree of Eternity over. At least now Grubby, you know, Happy was the one down 1,000 gold before, but now Grubby's the one down 1,000 gold. So that's a 2,000 gold swing from this harass in Happy's favor. But Grubby, oh, Zeppelin. he defended quite well there. He's still got those four peons left. And the Zeppelin, yeah, this might be the killing blow because Grubby's not going to be prepared for this unless he catches the he Zeppelin. Sees it. Oh, come on. Oh, I moves to the side. Did Grubby see this? Was be paying attention. I don't think so. Because he, he was probably busy with the heroes. Oh, no. Now he sees it. But he could just grill the units. Yeah, there's going to be two adders going down at least. Keeper can get a third. One is denied. Oh, the peons. The peons have to react. Okay, if you lose these peons, <laughs> there's, like, just no chance any longer. Happy could have killed one. Not perfect. Okay, but Trians... Walkers are here. If only you could apply Spirit Link to buildings, eh? That would be great. You can't really reach. This is too much range. Oh. oh my god, it's all gone. It's all over. The entire economy is down. No worker left. He can't rebuild shit. Yeah, that's, that's, be it. that's it. I mean, he's got to lose everything, including a hero, <laughs> to be able to rebuild peons at this point um one peon yep okay i think it's just all in he's got a, i think he could have all in even earlier than this um i think when happy started doing this he could have all in but okay happy 
Okay, one thing though, if Happy doesn't go for a full Lamo base trade, he's gonna have to defend his Tree of Eternity to move over, or else he's only gonna have an extra 600 gold in total. But 56 against 30 supply, I mean, it's it's hero kill or nothing for Grubby at this stage. Yeah, I think so. Happy, of course, breaks up keep immediately. He knows his opponent is out of gold. He will never get more than what he has. What you see is what you get. Is that enough, Grubster? Okay, is there a heal scroll? There is at least one heal scroll. The Moonwells are pretty healthy. Wisp being pulled. Reinforcement bears. Panda next breath of fire will be a couple of kills at least. Stomp is being dodged just like it has been throughout this entire series. And there's just too much. There's too many bears. Panda carried so hard this entire game. New Wolves. We have a GNL bear here, but just for a second. That Panda is doing work. These heroes for Grubby are suffering. So are the Headhunters. He's fighting till the very, very end. Unlike Infi earlier today. But that is back-to-back -back wins for Happy against Goats of this game. GG. Well played. Happy in the finals. Grubby one stage further than in the past cup he played. Held up really well. But it wasn't enough, Carson. Yeah, not too bad at all from Grubby, and that, that game was pivoted out of a weird two barracks all in. A strategy that the way at least Grubby does it um, doesn't work for the this exact reason. You just go mass archers, you attack, you get your panda, and then the game is over pretty much. So the fact that he able, he's able to stretch it out that long until about, what was it, 25 minute mark? Yeah, 23 minute mark. Not bad at all from Grubby, but happy as always is in the grand finals.